Welcome everybody to BVN at 8 and as always it's your sports guy Cliff here coming to you live from the skybox giving you all the hottest news in sports out there right now. So let's not wait, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to talk about the college football playoff. You know they update the bracket every week and this week you came in, number one was Clemson, number two was Auburn, number three was Oklahoma and number four was Wisconsin. Now that's very interesting. Why you may ask? Because we had some shakeup. We got Auburn at number two with two losses, but they had two big wins against two number one teams. And as a matter of fact, of all the big games that are happening this weekend, that's the game I want to focus on. Georgia versus Auburn for the SEC championship. Why should you ask? Because depending on what happens in this game could give outsider Alabama a chance to get back into the college football playoff, which I don't think they deserve, but who knows? But that's what makes college football great. You never know what's going to happen. Because in the first meeting, Auburn handed it to Georgia, 40-17. to 17. You know, Georgia has a dynamic duo at running back with Nicholas Chubb and Michelle. But they got shut down and that Auburn defense was able to go to work once they forced the Georgia offense to pass the ball. So what will happen this time? I don't know. Actually, I believe Auburn's going to be victorious again. And that may be just enough to keep Alabama out of the playoff. But let me tell you, there are big games all over the playoff. Be looking for a shakeup right before we go to this college playoff bracket season for to end in the year. Moving on to my Spurs report. That's where I want to talk about a little bit of NBA, but I want to talk about the Spurs specifically, and there's one person I want to talk about, and that's LaMarcus Aldridge. A lot of people felt like we weren't getting our money's worth. Yeah, you know what? He wasn't very dialed in last year because he probably felt like he wasn't involved enough, especially on the offensive end of the court. But now... LaMarcus Aldridge leads the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And when you watch this guy on the court now, you can tell that he's fully engaged. Things will only look up for the Spurs as we just got back Tony Parker and we're still awaiting for Kawhi Leonard to get fully healthy to come back and join the squad. And with the way LaMarcus Aldridge is playing right now at this all-star level, we're currently in third place in the conference, but look for us to make some noise and stay on top in that Western Conference, it should be a good season for Craig Popovich and the Spurs. Now moving on to a little bit of a sore topic in the NFL. You know, I don't like the New York Giants. They're rivals to my Dallas Cowboys. But they just benched their starting quarterback, Eli Manning. And people might say, but for what? You know, I don't think Eli Manning is the greatest quarterback, but he has been very consistent over the years. And just like any other Asian quarterback, some of his productivity has gone down over the past few seasons. But I don't think you bench that man just to bring in Geno Smith. The last time Geno Smith made a headline, he was getting punched out by one of his old Jets teammates and had a broken jaw. That's right. And he hasn't done very well when he has had time on the field. So you're telling me that you're going to bench Eli Manning, two-time Super Bowl champion, for Geno Smith? You're going to break his consecutive starts in games for Geno Smith? I mean, at least do it for Davis Webb, who's sitting at third string, and you've never seen him play. But again, for not the biggest fan of Eli, I still don't think that that man deserves that. Coach Ben McAdoo and some of the head people in those offices up there are making a horrible, horrible mistake. They should let Eli start, but I must say Eli's a class act. He said, hey, if that's y'all decision, I'm just going to go with it. Now look, I don't know if Eli's a Hall of Famer or not, but he definitely deserves better than this. So for this week, I'll go ahead and close it out. I always appreciate you tuning in right here to the Skybox and hearing what I have to say, but go ahead, respond, comment, let me know so I can hit some topics that you want to talk about, and I'll let you know from my view from the Skybox. It's your sports guy, Cliff, signing off. See you next time.